here today for Lon Juan and welcome back to the channel. Today I have an ocean themed card to share with you all. I'm going to be using the Ocean Shelfie stamp set. I really love this set, it's super cute. And to go along with it, I'm going to be mixing it with the Fantastic Friends. This set is an oldie but a goodie. It's honestly one of my absolute favourite sets of all time and I love how all of the images match. So I think that these two are going to work really well together. Along with these two stamp sets, I'm also going to be using the Ocean Wave stencils just to create a fun background. I'm going to start off with a piece of Tim Holtz watercolour cardstock and I'm just going to tape that down to a board. And then I'm going to do six layers of waves using each of the different stencils and a different colour of Distress Ink. I'm starting off with Chipped Sapphire and I'm blending that at the very bottom of this cardstock piece. Sorry if the camera shakes a little bit, it's connected to my desk, so every time I ink blend, it kind of gets a little bit shaky. Once I've ink blended the chip sapphire at the bottom, I'm gonna adhere the top of the stencil down over the top of the previously blended area, and I'm gonna grab a new stencil and blend on the new color. This time I'm using Blueprint Sketch. Once I've finished with the Blueprint Sketch, I'm just going to repeat the same process that I did last time. I'm going to remove that bottom stencil and adhere the one that I just used over the previously blended one and grab the third stencil and I'm going to use the colour Mermaid Lagoon for this piece. I'm always going heavier handed at the top and then a lighter at the bottom to create that nice gradient. The next colour I'm going to be using is Broken China and I'm just using that exact same process once again. Also I am using the exact same blending tool for each of these colours, I'm just wiping it off on a paper towel as I go just so I don't contaminate the darker colours with the lighter colours. And then for the last two sections I'm using Tumbled Glass so I went a bit darker on the first layer and then really light on the last layer. And then to completely finish off this piece and to make it look kind of underwater, I added some water splotches. I just flicked some water on using the nozzle out of a sprayer tool and just dabbed it off with some paper towel. And then I took my um, heat tool and dried it off. To add a little bit of extra interest onto this background, I decided to add white details with a gel pen, just like I do on my images. So I'm just going along the curves and adding in lines and dots. Now it's time to stamp and colour in all of my images. So I've pulled out a few images from both of the stamp sets that I showed a little earlier. And now I'm just going to stamp them down onto some white cardstock using the Lawn Fawn Jack Black ink. I do a couple of layers to make it really nice and dark. And once I finish stamping those, it's time to pull out my Copic markers and start colouring. So I went for a bit of a rainbow theme here. So I'm starting off with a green fish. I'm using G28, YG67, YG63, and YG61 for him. I'm colouring in all of his fins the exact same way as well, just to keep the colouring super simple. Next I'm moving on to this purple fish. I'm using BV08. BV04, BV02 and BV01, again colouring in all of the fins the exact same way as well. You could definitely take it one step further and colour the fins in lighter, um, but as I said before I just really wanted to save some time and make the colouring go by super quick. Next up I'm colouring in the octopus, so I'm using RV99, RV95, RV93 and RV91. I found the RV99 and RV95 kind of a little bit hard to blend in together. I felt like they were really far apart um, and so it kind of bled out on one of the arms. Um, I'm not too worried about it though, I'm going to fix it a little bit later um, just with a white gel pen. You can also use the zero marker to help like push the colour back into place. But I felt like the image was already kind of saturated by all of that colour, so I just found the white gel pen to be a little bit easier. Next up, I'm colouring in an orange fish, so I'm using YR18, YR12, Y21, and YR00. The YR00 was 
kind of a different tone to the rest of the colours, but it worked okay in the end. Next up I'm using some pinks to colour in one of the little fish and the jellyfish as well. I'm using RV19, RV25, RV13 and RV10. Once the two pink images were all coloured in, I moved on to the last fish. This is where I pulled in the yellow and blue for the rainbow completion. So for the yellow areas, I used Y18, Y15, Y13 and Y11. And then for the blue, I used B99, B95, B93 and B91 just to finish off that little stripe in the center. And then I needed to color in the camera and the tentacles and the spots on the octopus. So I just used um, some warm grays for all of those. I just used a mixture of like W00, W0, W1, W3, W5, W7 and W9 for all of those. I then went ahead and cut them all out, added my white details like I did on the background and now it's time to stamp out my sentiment. I am using the Large Sentiment Best Fishes from the Fantastic Friends stamp set. I really like the scripty uh, font of this and that's why I thought it would work perfectly. I also decided to curve the sentiment just a little bit to fit the curve of the wave and I just did that on the lid of my Misty. I then went ahead and used some clear ink from Lawn Fallen to stamp that down. I did a couple of layers just to make sure it was super sticky. And then once I went ahead and did that, I just used some white embossing powder to uh, heat emboss this. I just thought the white would stand out really well against that background and also mix in well with the white outline of the uh, cutout images. So I'm just gonna go ahead and heat emboss that and then move on to adhering all of my images down. So when I went ahead and cut out all of my images a little bit earlier, I did a bit of a test run for how the images were going to lay on this background. So I already had an idea in my head of where I wanted them to go. So I just went ahead and added foam tape onto the back of them all and then peeled them off and stuck them down as I saw fit. No real rhyme or reason to this. I just adhered them down as I thought. Um, that they would look good. I just really like how this turned out. Super cute, super colorful. Um, I didn't do it in order of rainbow or anything like that, but I do like how these are all rainbow colored. I also made sure that because I had one of the fish hanging over the edge on the one side, I had one hanging over the edge on the other side, so they could both be chopped off. Just so it matched and flowed a little bit better, at least that works in my head. And yeah, so that pretty much finishes off the card for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I really like this simple design with just using the rainbow colored fish and a really simple background to create a very quick and easy card. I really hope that you enjoyed today. All of the supplies will be listed down below and linked over at the blog. And I will catch you all next time. Thanks so much for stopping by today.